Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com. Today we are playing with a Raspberry Pi hat called the Copino. Um, a Raspberry Pi hat is like a shield in the Arduino world that attaches to the top of an Arduino. A hat attaches to the top of a Raspberry Pi. And you can see in the pictures there what it looks like. But here is the actual Copino board sitting on top of a B model Raspberry Pi. The advantage of this board is not only do you have a integrated Atmel 328 in an Arduino compatible form factor that attaches directly to the Raspberry Pi, but it allows you to remotely edit and reprogram your Arduino, or in this case the Copino, remotely. All you need is an internet connection to the Raspberry Pi. So no serial cables. The only cables we have connected here is the HDMI output to our screen, the 5 volt input, and we have a wireless keyboard mouse and a Wi-Fi adapter connected to the end. And we can remotely reprogram, edit, add new programs, change running programs, whatever we need to do from anywhere anywhere in the world that we have an internet connection using nothing but a web browser. Everything is accessible through the web browser. So we will continue on and show you more of how this is done. So today we're connecting the Copino board. The Copino is a Arduino compatible hat that sits on top of a Raspberry Pi and this version of the Copino is for the B model of the Raspberry Pi not the B plus there will be a version coming out soon for the B plus and I've already put the screws in with the standoffs and I'm going to put the header on those can be sharp don't push your thumb down on them and now I'm going to mount the Copino onto the Raspberry Pi. And there are holes in the Copino board that those header pins should slide right into and line up with my two posts. And I push down on it and now the pins come up through the board and that's what makes that connection. And all I've got to do now is put the two nuts on and the board is mounted. There's a 5 volt jack on the Copino board. You supply 5 volts to that jack and that also will supply power to the Raspberry Pi itself so you don't have to power up the Raspberry Pi separately. So here is the Copino attached on top of the Raspberry Pi Model B. I didn't have a 5 volt power supply with a barrel connector so instead of providing power to the Copino I'm powering it from the Raspberry Pi using the normal 2 amp um, 5 volt micro USB connector. We are using a Wi-Fi adapter from Edimax and we are using a Logitech wire combination wireless keyboard and mouse so it only takes up one USB port because the B model is limited to only two USBs unlike the B plus which has four there are some powered um, USB hubs out there Pi Hut makes a seven port powered USB uh, hub what's special about that is it's designed for the Arduino uh, excuse me, for the Raspberry Pi in that none of the USB ports pull power from the Pi and neither will they feed power back to the Pi. So it comes with its own 3 amp or 2 amp uh, power supply for the uh, the 7 port USB hub from Pi Hut. Um, I'll talk more about these later, maybe in, later in another article called um, Raspberry Pi add-ons that work because there's a lot of add-ons out there that don't work right out of the box 
and the Logitech keyboard and mouse and the NMX Wi-Fi plug-in there just work. You just pop them in, you don't have to install any software, they're automatically recognized. Um, the Wi-Fi adapter, you just have to tell it your password for your uh, uh, your local Wi-Fi connect um, uh, router and you're on the internet. There's no no setup to speak of. So up here on the screen we have our Wi-Fi settings the IP address was important. We have the web page for copino.cc and we went to the download link and there was instructions there that we had to copy into a terminal window and we pasted that into the terminal window and we hit enter and it went out to copino.cc's website and it pulled down all the software and drivers needed to make the Copino talk to the Raspberry Pi. And when it was finished, it says start a browser and type HTTP colon slash slash and the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. And I will expand this window. And you can see the full command Blueberry C. And there's actually two R's in Blueberry. Um, there's a typo in their install script. So we'll come over to the laptop I have set up which is connecting to the Raspberry Pi over wireless through my router and we will pull up an Arduino script and we will load it and we will compile it and we will upload it to the onboard Arduino chip, the Atmel 328 on the Copino board and the Copino, this is what makes this Copino special from any other Arduino type ha available for the Raspberry Pi is that you can remotely reprogram the Arduino. In later um, tutorials we'll show how to uh, create some really cool sketches that run on here. They use normal Arduino sketches because this is an Atmel 328 chip on board. Uh, right now we're just blinking the LEDs, but that's what makes this one special is nobody else allows you to, with just a web browser, nothing more than a web browser, access your Raspberry Pi slash Copino Arduino stack and change the onboard programming, completely change the program to something new or make edits to your program that you have running. You don't have to be in the same room, you don't have to be in the same house, you don't have to be in the same county as long as you have uh, internet access to this uh, stack. So the next uh, segment will show the uh, web browser running on my laptop where I am showing the code that's running on here and making changes to it and sending those changes, uploading those changes to the Copino. So here we're looking at my laptop and again I am not wired to the Raspberry Pi or the Copino. I'm using my Wi-Fi. I've pulled up a web browser and I've put in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi and it pulls up the Apache web server that's running and the application is the Copino software. And I will go to the Blinky sketch and we will view the sketch that's running on the Copino. We can go into edit. And here's your typical Arduino sketch. And we are blinking LEDs, LED 0, 1, and 2, which I showed earlier. We've initialized all three LED pins as outputs and we're just looping through and turning the LEDs on and off, turning them on and off. There's a delay on LED zero. But you can write your own sketches just like you would do if the Arduino was connected to your laptop through a USB port. It's just we're doing this one completely remotely. And when you're all done, you just click Compile and Run. 
and then we will scroll down and we can see the read results of the compile and there is our results screen there script executing there it goes please wait it's building the code getting some more messages it's now resetting and it is finished we have now just remotely uploaded a Arduino sketch to the Atmel 328 that's running on the Copino board stacked on top of a Raspberry Pi remotely with no physical connection all you need is an, a, um, an, internet, is an internet access, a web browser access to the Raspberry Copino stack. So it could be anywhere, anywhere in the world and you can update your sketch. So thank you for watching and this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com and we will be posting more projects based on this stack. We just wanted to give you a quick introduction to it, how it works and we'll be doing some really cool remote applications using the Raspberry Pi um, using the Apache server built on the Raspberry Pi displaying data from sensors attached to the Copino board thank you very much thanks for watching